to black women so there is an instagram user named shaka bars and o'hara alleged that he made a post saying who will be pregnant in 2019 and this idiot who's only been dating this woman for four months tagged the girlfriend claiming that it was a joke i really don't think he was joking and her response to the post was like um no we're not having no babies because he tagged her o'hara alleged that shaka said you need to watch get out and so because of that o'hara stating that followers have been attacking him and abusing him and telling him that he should have got with a black woman so i want to read you some posts that he made so he stated i commented on one of shaka bar's posts and since i've been receiving many messages like this so many black women abuse me because my woman isn't black there is no rule book which says that a black athlete must be with a black girl color is nothing and the sooner we understand that the world will be a better place grow up i'm usually quiet about things like this because i hate to talk about race but in all realness these people who have commented on that post should work on themselves and being successful and maybe they will have more luck in attracting men instead of spending 25 years of their lives being thoughts and having five different babies by five different fathers and then complaining about why nobody wants them. Make my woman feel good instead of abusing her and also wish us well, please. Then he says, color of partner to me doesn't mean much, but as I see loads of black women don't like it when a black man likes a female of different ethnicity. Me and Shaka Bars could do a video where I answer all the questions and I would also like to ask why black women get angry when a black man likes a white girl no rules on who we choose to be with so shaka bars decided to make a response to him and he said fam dm me stay away from issues you haven't studied you're talking of the subjective not the objective you are african your people are african don't go against them with silly posts like this you are a boxer and a good one you can't just be a political commentator just because you have an ig profile if at any point you want to talk i'm here but your community will attack you if you make comments like this and then somebody said big man ting delete this and so he said heck no i'm not and this is one of the reasons too many black people to be annoyed because i have a white girlfriend and disrespect her on this post last black girl i was seeing tried to trap me and take child support money i'll stay with this white girl i'm with here child by amanda sellis is this sellis or seals i'm really sorry i think it's sellis so amanda sellis got into it and she said oh wow you a whole f n-word you could have shown your love for your partner without attempting to demean and disgrace black women becky can have you you are clearly a catch for no one and then somebody said just say you hate black women and go and so he said to this person i hate black women who think like you so because of this the white woman got involved and she says the typical color blind that makes you realize that her type definitely has some racist views because i can't stand up people that be like well i don't care if you're purple blue girl. Sh shut up just stop i don't want to hear your color blind bullcrap so balls Shaka Bars is what you call a pro-black person. And on his Instagram page, he put up a picture saying, um, you know, who's who's going to be having babies in 2019? So, you know me, I like to joke around. I tag my girlfriend in a picture. I go, babe, you know me and you are having a kid this year. And, um, you know, my girlfriend was like, no, 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 we're not having a kid. But it was a joke anyway. And so Shaka Bars responds under my thread and he comments, hey, bro, I think you need to watch Get Out. I'm not sure how many of you guys have seen that film get out so him commenting that underneath my thread insinuated that you know because i've got a white girlfriend this means that her family is involved in witchcraft and they're going to try to brainwash you and trap you and use you as a sex slave after seeing um you know after seeing that comment that he wrote so many of his 600,000 followers on instagram jumped on his defense they started saying oh it's so true it's so true and next thing i started getting inboxes on my instagram my girlfriend starts getting inboxes on inboxes on her instagram they're commenting on her pictures and on my pictures saying this girl is nothing but garbage nothing but trash she's gonna trap you she's gonna try to she's gonna try to trap you her aim is to have your baby and claim that child support money for the next 18 years they were saying things like O'Hara oh, davis it's good to see that you can finally afford a white girl but don't worry as soon as your boxing career goes down the drain or as soon as you lose the money you've got, this girl is going to be the first one to leave. They're saying all these things about her. And so I phoned up my girlfriend to see if she's okay. And, um, you know, she was really down. She was in the mood. She's like, I'm a, I'm a successful person. I've worked hard my whole life. I've got a nice house. 
I've got a nice car. My girlfriend drives a better car than me. She so she has a she has her own house, her own car, and she and she owns a business that she done all by herself without the help of me, without the help of a guy. She's worked hard and she's a business person. Let me explain to you guys what pro black means. Pro black is you know guys when you meet someone that says that they're pro black, the first thing that they will say is that pro black doesn't mean anti white. They say that pro-black isn't racism and pro-black isn't anti-white. They say that pro-black is a community of people that are black coming together and helping each other out, giving each other helping hands. So, example, if you're looking to get a product, instead of buying that same product from a business that's owned by a white man, when you're pro-black, you'll buy that same product from a business that's owned by a black man. Why? Because we're not trying to build up these white men's homes and their families and their businesses. Us as black males and females, we are looking to build ourselves first. That's what people that are pro-black say. The issue that I have is that everyone that says that they're pro-black says that they're not anti-white and that they're not racism, but pro-black is racism and pro-black is anti-white. A lot of people that follow checker bars, and checker bars is racist. Checker bars is racist. If he wasn't racist, then he wouldn't have made that comment that he made. Um, about me being in an interracial relationship. The people that follow him, they also say, I'm not anti-white, I'm pro-black. But then why was they in my inbox and in my girlfriend's inbox saying that she's a gold, that saying that she's a gold digger, trash? Why was they in my inbox saying, why can't I just find myself a, ble a beautiful black queen? And I really find this offensive because I believe that in 2019, I'm not gonna hold a white man today accountable for what their ancestors done five or six hundred years ago. It's fucking challenges. Like, in my eyes, these things happened five or six hundred years ago. And you know, times are now different. Times have now changed. Yes, what white people did do to blacks all those years ago, it was wrong, it was very wrong. And I'm very against it. I know what happened in the slavery times. But it's 2019, times are different. Slavery isn't happening today, like it was back then. So why should I refrain from falling in love with a white female because of what happened five or six hundred years ago. But I've experienced racism. I, I experience it on a daily basis. Every day when I open up my Instagram inbox, I get a new message from some white guy up in Liverpool somewhere saying, you black cunt, go back to Africa, you fucking monkey, you coon. I'll go into shops that are owned by white men at times and before they know that I'm a pro athlete, they treat me a certain way and then a white man comes in and then they treat him better. But slavery doesn't exist. But racism exists, but now people that are black experience racism in different ways. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to look at every single white person and say that they're racist or they're evil. Guys, they are angry at me, they are offended at me because I've got a white girlfriend when they would prefer me to be of someone that's got the same skin complexion as me. They would hate me for as long as I have a white girlfriend and they would hate her for as long as she has a black boyfriend. But you know what? When it's all said and done, people need to accept it. It's 2019, people are white, are racist, but racism works both ways. I know people that are white that are racist and people that are black that are also racist. People that are pro-black, they've got this thing in their minds where they believe that black girls have this automatic right when they're born, that they have this right that they deserve a successful black man. Because you're black, because you're black and you're a girl, you deserve a successful black man. They, like, people that are pro-black, that they believe that, they believe that they are entitled to this right. But no one's entitled to anyone. You are entitled to whoever you fall in love with. That's who you're entitled to. The last girl I was seeing was black. The last girl I had as a girlfriend was black. The last girl I had as a girlfriend before that, she was mixed race. This is my first time being, you know, this is my first time having a white girlfriend. I see your recent interview come up about um, Ahara and, and stuff like that. Yeah, like have you met Ahara? Have you, you, you have you talked since then? No, I've talked. Like, listen, brother, mm. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing to say for Ahara. You know what I mean, he just said the obvious things about 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 women, mm. in particular black women. Mm. So I'm saying, if you're dissing the black woman, then dissing your mom. So I don't know. I mean, I ain't gonna try and psychoanalyze or horror, right? I'm just gonna keep it moving and keep it positive. But what I am gonna say is this: I don't respect. Not listen. I'm just gonna break this down really simple for you. Yeah. Why is it, right? And I'm really trying to stop the colors because people say, "Oh, we talk about this colors." So, right? I'm 
I'm just gonna tell you this now, right? <sighs> the way you speak negative about the black woman, or you try to to pigeonhole them, or just put them, or categorize them as being a certain way, maybe that is the females that you have had your associations with. But there must be some form of self-hate when you predominantly only date women that don't like your mom. Mm -hmm. that, that's it. And I've, I've noticed, unfortunately, there's a lot of people uh, in the sporting world or entertainment world that they think like you are of color and that straight away the fact that they've made it, they got to be with somebody of another uh, uh, ethnic ethnicity yeah. today. Yeah. Now I think a lot of problems you need to be with whoever you want to be with. That's cool, I got no problem with that. Right? Be whatever you want to be. But don't come down to another set of women because you're not with that set of women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then say this is the reason why. Mm -hmm. Because you would never see no Chinese man, right? Be taking or get married to no one from Pakistan, but he said the reason why I would be all from Pakistan is because all you Chinese women ain't shit. Yeah, yeah. You'll never hear that. Ever, ever, will yeah. you hear that. Well, You'll never hear no white man, right? Turn around and get married to a black woman and say that, oh, the reason why I'm with you black woman because you white women ain't shit. <laughs> I, I, haven't heard, I haven't heard that. Yeah, I've never heard that. Never. So, but why is it? Why is it that any time, right? Mm. And don't get to it. Because I've got loads of people who are in mixed relationships, yeah? Right? And I'm saying mixed relationship of, of ethnicity, right? Mixed. Right? And the ones that I know who are mixed, the real ones who have been like black men who have got married to white women, they're not, they've never ever turned to me and said, oh, well, it's because black women make shit white. No, it's because they just happen to fall in love with a certain person that was of a different tribe set because we are one race of human. Now, why is it? Why is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that someone, and I can break this down even more so, right? Why is it that someone wanna jump on a platform, because you got a platform, and there were all these black women that are in there, all these maybe need to go find out what these white women are there? No, maybe you need to find out your culture. Yeah. And that's that. So it's not me trying to gun or her and this. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, man, there's someone else being there with you. Oh, we'll have to think about our holidays. I don't want to talk about it. The reason why I don't want to talk about it is because I'm saying, like, you're speaking in a way to try to appease the hierarchical superiority system, mm. right? That has, has been put in place to make yourself mm. inferior to them, right? And so much that you think you have to kiss their ass to think you can get some. <laughs> yeah. And I'm trying to tell you this now. That myself, Baba Tunji Ajayi, right? We're changing that to say that you can be proud of who you are. Mm. Next thing is, I've got a phone call from one of my really good friends, Andrew Hardy. Right? I just posted him on, on Twitter, right? He loved Andrew Hardy. He loves Tunji. Tunji was on uh, Chris Dixon's podcast. So really positive. <laughs> and Andrew Hardy rang me and said, Oh, this is the hit. He's like, This is new. I went, This one is positive. And he was just honest. He was like, Yeah, he's super. But he said, me listening to, to that podcast, remember, something is the darkest skin of, of men that you can see. Mm. He said, me listening to this, your podcast, and the positive thing that you made me feel proud to be British. Mm. Right? That touched me, because I didn't want to bring a conversation. But that touched me to the simple fact that on to, to the average man on the street, it's not about skin tone. And this thing of color and and and, uh, and racial pride is a trap to make us not think of the bigger picture. But when well, we're not thinking of the bigger picture, we are submitting our will and power to the hierarchical system. Mm. So when we could turn around and speak about White supremacy. White supremacy is my next door neighbor to me. That's not white supremacy. Right? This is be wrong. That's not, it's not white supremacy. Mm. My next door neighbors are cool. Mm. You know what I mean? 
Man, well, hey, listen. All right, well, he, uh, at least uh, I heard he's back with Tunde now. So, at least, least, least. How do you mean? How do you, is he back with Tunde? I heard they're training. No, no, he's not. No, he's not. Okay, he training. He trained there for a bit. No, he's trained down there for the season. But no, he doesn't. Oh, he's okay. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It's like I'm not going out kind of for holiday. He's young, and and when you're young, when you're young. You're prone to make mistakes. For now, these things I was doing. And it's only now that I'm getting tense. And now that I'm getting tense, but I realize that the world don't want to love me now. Mm. I mean, when I was a kid, the world wanted to love me. Crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. that I'm speaking sense, now I'm speaking of energy, now that I'm speaking of compassion and love and, and those kind of things. Now that I'm speaking more openly about the racism that are out, people are trying to switch up. Oh, this guy, oh. And everyone's like, oh, he's got 
what goes on is right. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Right. And it's true, it's true. Yeah, it's true because like you know like you were before, and because you 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 took pure positivity into the into the atmosphere and your life, you right. you, you yourself can see the changes, and that's what it was about. Right? But you know that coming right. from where you come from, yeah. Right. Like I'm like I'm saying, like I'm saying, uh, you see from where from how I've done my thing to how it's just rolling, rolling, rolling. Roll. And it just keeps on getting bigger. Yeah. Right? So you see, you witness it, I'm telling you, you know what I mean? Life is just in the tongue. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so and I, I've, I've realized that life is just in the tongue. Listen, from the time this brown come over to the UK, he called for me to host it, but I've won. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. From the time Imran come, you have been in contact with Oxford Creative Hub and said, okay, then come out and you have what you want Spencer Brown to come to with some speaking things inside the university. I've won. Yeah. And the time I can fly around the whole world, I'll take one pay, stay in the best hotel, eat the best food, look after my family, look after my family, own the meeting properly. And I'm one. From the time that I get empowered, but I use my empowerment to empower other people within the community that believe that they will never get empowered, mm. or they'll never get touched, or they'll never get, they'll never get that bringing life. You know what I mean? Well, I'm going to have all minivans, all bikes. Pay for kids to pay for kids to go on on, on holiday. Uh, visiting sick people in hospital just before they're gonna die and they pass away, but their family still keep in contact with me because they're touched. And the fact that I can go and sit down with their uncle for their last day, I want because people need to understand the key to these things is to spread love. That's the only reason, purpose why we create, mm -hmm. right? But we're so busy trying to love out things. Instead of loving people, you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Things were created to be used, and people were created to be loved, but we love things and use people, and that's wrong. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm rolling with. So, yeah. back to our thing. You know what I mean? I just hope, I just hope that. Uh, but he's trying to find himself, and you can see he's trying to find himself. A whole lady does find himself. You know what I mean? But, like I said, a lot of the guys on the street, a lot of the artists, I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm in the street, I'm in the street, a lot of the artists, and these guys are pumped. Right? They're here for the passion. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He's just, he's just a little bit confused. You know what I mean? But I don't always spend more time with this. I'm right here. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I expect. You know what I mean? <laughs> Holy shit! 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 Holy sh